to another Alberta backwoods adventure, and this time we're Montana bound. Montana on the Tobacco River, a world-class fishery. Here I am standing on a wicked pool. It's too bad Montana non-resident license for $90 for three days. That makes a fisherman like me cry. Here's home for the next four days. Here's tonight's dinner, beet burgers on the barbecue. Everything's cheap in the States. Our buddies down south hooked us up with 20 bucks worth of firewood. Looks like a normal cheeseburger, right? But it's not. It's kale and beets. Delicious. Montana, another beautiful day on the Tobacco River. Today we're going to be hanging out, dirt biking and cooking, having a good old fashioned time. Today my lovely wife is preparing us silken tofu eggs with vegan bacon grease and vegan sausage patties, her specialty. I'll show you when she's done, delicious. So you cut the tofu in half, and this resembles uh, a fried egg. Nice, uh, firm, but soft at the same time. Silken tofu. Use a longer knife. Use a long knife. <laughs> that little slab there is going to be a fried egg. First you fry the patties, and then you fry the eggs. And then you put them in a nice toasted bagel, and there's your breakfast. 
nice and golden brown. Then we add our egg flavoring. What's our flavoring made out of? Nutritional yeast, black salt, salt and pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. And that's what gives it that delicious fried egg taste. I know it's tofu, but you wouldn't know the difference. Then you add your mayo, and this is just mayo. It's vegan mayonnaise. It's only available in the States right now, because Canada is silly about that crap. Then you add your egg. Look at that. Egg and sausage bagels for breakfast. Doesn't get any better than that, guys. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a backpacker's fire. It's basically a mini long fire. So you take your two logs, you pack it full of small dry kindling, it has to be dry. And then you take some more tinder, grass, pile her in there, pack it in good. Then you take these over top. And the end product would have a log like that over the top after you light it. So let's light it. five minutes now you can see she's burning good. This it resembles a long fire. If you've watched my other videos you've seen what that's all about. But if not I'll explain. Basically you have three logs stacked on top of each other with kindling packed in the middle. A long fire is designed to burn for about five or six hours. Eventually this top log will drop into the fire and keep it going. Now, if you're backpacking, this is good for a short, hot fire for cooking on. And when you want to extinguish it, simply pull the three logs apart, stomp them out individually, go on your merry way. Here's the Green Goblin. Let's go for a rip. Camp 32 near Rexford, Montana. Another free camping site in Montana. It's wonderful. Look at this beautiful bridge. Respect the iron workers. I'm one of them. So, for dinner tonight, we're having vegan chicken burgers and baked potatoes. Yum yum.
about starting fires the hard way. Today, we're gonna cheat. This is your everyday, normal gas station in Montana. Liquor, liquor, liquor. And a big wall of beer. Remember, it's a gas station, right? You can even buy clothes in this place. It's just a normal gas station. So here we are at Tobacco Plains Beach, Lake Cucanusa, Montana. White Sandy Beach. And this is my floating, this is my floating lazy boy. Take her out for a rip. I love Montana. This place is great. Lake Cucanoose is beautiful. Half in Canada, half in Montana. Montana side's way better. Across the border right to Eureka. Everything's dirt cheap there. Free camping galore. Can't get any better. Check this place out. It's quite the trip being on this lake here. It's that far beach you see is Canada. You turn around here. Here we are in Montana. Canada. America. Canada. America. Pretty sweet, eh? No snowmen here. Just clay man. You guessed it right. That's my baked potato warming up in the sun. It's gonna be delicious. Ball. So I'm gonna explain how to start a small fire with a magnesium rod. So first of all, you need your magnesium with the flint. You need yourself some kind of a tinder box like this. This is an old tea box that works perfect. And for material, you're going to need dry pine needles or grass, small kindling, uh, some bark. You don't necessarily need the bark, but I, this is where I get my tinder from. You peel this from the back side, scrape it, whatever. Get it up, 
and then it comes out loose like this. You want to shred that up real good. Pack it into a real tight ball. Now the bark can't be wet. It's got to be dry bark off a dead poplar tree. Any kind of poplar will do. They all have the same kind of bark underneath. So now you get yourself a big wad like that. Okay? So the back side of this bark is going to be my fireboard. So now you need to shave a whole bunch of shavings off into your tinder box. And that may take a while. You want to get yourself uh, a pile about the size of a quarter. That's why the tinder box is important, so, because it collects your shavings. They go all over the ground, you're not going to be able to pick them up and make a nice pile out of them. Now you can see how I've collected them there. Now you're going to take that pile of magnesium and you're going to want to put it on your wad here. Make sure they're in a nice tight bundle. A nice little pile like that. You can see there. Okay? So now you're going to want to get ready with your, uh, your grass or your pine needles. Have that right ready because as soon as this ignites you're going to want to throw that on there that's going to make a small fire then you throw your sticks on there and then you keep building your wood up from there so now this is the fun part you take your magnesium rod get her down about a 45 angle make a spark Keep blowing. Don't let her die on you. Now add your grass. Now she's burning. You can add your wood.
better catch. Just keep adding sticks. There you have her. Congratulations, you made yourself a fire. Now you just keep adding larger and larger wood. Make sure she's all dry. And there you go, no matches. Magnesium and tinder, the real way. Just another reason why Montana is so awesome. 11.10 at nighttime and it's 23 degrees. If you're ever in Eureka, Montana, and you need firewood, you call this number here, area code 406-261-3068. They'll hook you up rich. This is where you come for all your information on camping, where you can ride your ATVs, uh, where you can camp for free, and all these U.S. Crown Land sites. We're at the Eureka Ranger Station. Evans Peak in Eureka, Montana. It's a health food store, supplements, organic market. They'll hook you up with everything you need here.